Ah, ranching. There's quite nothing like it. Animals, family, love, hard work. Those are a few of the elements which comprise the Dooley Ranch. Black ranching at its finest. A legacy created. But it's been some fun for the kids because when we showed Cassie, we used to show and compete. And, uh, and we won prizes over other registered doctors had cows and attorneys and we, we'd come and walk away a lot of times first place. And uh, then we'd have horses over on the other farm over there, quarter horses. And uh, we'll get a footage of them too, right? Yep. And uh, so, so, and it's fun cause uh, some of the children enjoyed riding the horses. And they take off with their friends and they all would go to the park up in Virginia and, Right. Does people ever tell you like lean a horn? Yeah, a lot. Well, when you was growing up, <clears throat> what did you want to be? Did you want to be a rancher's wife? No, because <laughs> I came off a ranch. I was sick of that. But no, I did. Um, I wanted to be a singer, and I had a singer's voice. And a lot of the musical teachers gravitated to me to do that. But I come from strict parents and they just wouldn't let me go and do it. That's life. So y'all would fix fences? Yeah. Uh, my husband and myself fixed the fence all the way from the house back up there all the way down to that shed by ourselves. And this is since we've been as old as we are now. We did. And yeah, but down down there, you mm -hmm. had to hide that fence done because that was more than we could do. That fence cost six thousand dollars for the cross there. Wow. I see another little baby out there. Right there. Yeah, I thought he looked like it. You see a little baby out there? Mm hmm Along the way in Dooley's The Black Ranchers, we've discussed quite a bit about ranching. One thing we haven't touched on is why Charolais bulls were the select bull breed for the Dooley's. Let's learn more about French cattle, their value, and just why French beef is one of the most prized types of beef in the industry. Charolais bulls have exceptional attributes regarding their growth rate and the quality of their meat. This is one factor that led to the decision many years ago of Mr. Dooley selecting Charolais bulls for the ranch. Charolais bulls also easily calve, very rarely needing any type of human intervention. When you have a ranch, this is pretty helpful, actually essential. In cases, such as on a ranch where you have very extensive farming needs and the farmer's ability to carefully oversee each and every calf is viable, a breed being able to take better care of themselves independently saves a lot of time, energy, and money. Purebred Charolais cows are characterized by their completely white or sometimes creamy coat and clear colored and inward curving horns. The Charlet is known for its rapid growth rate and its name comes from the town of Charlet in Burgundy around which Charlet cows were first bred. Nearly a hundred years ago in France, over 2,000 breeders joined the Charlet herd book. There are over 1.2 million Charlet cows currently being bred in France. In North Carolina, the Dooleys are one of the few people to breed this prestigious bull.
got all the ice cream and cake and soda you wanted, and you didn't get it till the next morning. <laughs> Everything was black, dark, wasn't it? You didn't get nothing, because Aunt Katie and them used to come over here with Selena and them, you remember? And we want to have an ice cream party with the kids. And you and John would go out trying to look for ice cream and come back so what nothing over no. And it wouldn't be there about 7, 8 o'clock. <laughs> nothing. Wow. It's changed a lot. And it's and it's changing every... It's changing. Moxville has grown since a we've been... Lot. Yeah. Can you remember, Katie? <coughs> you used to come down here. You didn't probably remember. We were just in the country. We're still in the country, but we was in the country. It was like little short sleeve shirts and little shorts and little sandals. And I said, now they got all their little summer wear for the summer. And it stayed cold all summer. <laughs> oh, it was cold up into June. But yeah, and when I had, yeah, wow. it stayed cold all summer. And when I'd get ready to go somewhere, I'd always have to get a sweater. And they had, they had to wear a sweater because their little clothes was new. They looked good, you know, uh -huh. but they couldn't go out with little short sleeves on, little shorts. I let them wear their shorts, but I always had to put them a sweater on because it was too cool. Mm. What mm -hmm. year was that? That's when they was little. Uh, oh, Lord. They must not have been, but about six, five. No, six she's old now. She they, old, yeah, old they might have been about seven and eight. Well, you got a picture somewhere with her, one, one of them little dresses you made on. Oh, yeah. Hmm, please yeah, throw that away. Only thing I had it messed up away. was because she would pull, keep her hair pulled loose. Yeah, <laughs> She'd have little braids yeah, on this side and this over here sticking out where she done. <laughs> and still do. And out of all the bull talk and everything else you've seen today on this episode, one of the main features of the Dooleys, the Black Ranchers, is family. Family teaches. Family works together. They keep things focused. And they work very, very hard. A mother, a father, and children have worked together to afford a very comfortable life but more importantly, a life that shows the true dream of having something meaningful in life is possible. Stay tuned for another episode of Dooley's The Black Ranchers. See you next time.